two, one, go! 15 seconds of autonomous action begins right now. Robots are relying on pre-programmed instructions to carry out the various tasks that are required for the autonomous period. Taxing away from the tarmac and scoring cargo in the upper and lower hub. Unofficially, your score is 40 all here in the teleoperated period. Drivers now in full control of the machine. Blue Alliance delivering two more pieces of cargo thanks to 2363. That'll be here in four. Blue Alliance is right there. And talk about defense. Backside of the field we're watching now is 234 Cyber Blue takes on 2767 for the Red Alliance. Right for it. Big pushed around and in a corner as they try to escape and pay 234, the strong defender for the Blue Alliance. 2363 for Blue delivers cargo triple helix. Finding the sweet spot in the upper hub. Two thirty-four added again. Deep inside Red Alliance territory, taking on all colors, shoving the caliper machine around. Gear it forward. Now moves over. Tips fifty-four oh six. Technical foul. Technical foul will be charged on the Red Alliance. Blue Alliance now with two robots on their side. That leaves only one robot remaining. The two fallen robots become obstacles. Foul now on the Blue Alliance. Helpless with two of their robots down on their side. It's all the Red Alliance inside the Red Alliance hangar making a climb for the traversal rung. 1339 for Red continues to navigate around the field and delivering more cargo into the upper hub. Period comes to an end. Oh, it was so close, only a point as the lead went back and forth. And then just like that, two robots over on their side. Now, there were multiple penalties during that last matchup, and the referees are already meeting on the far side of the field to discuss it. The penalties that will ensue from those interactions might just change the entire outlook of this last match. We'll give the referees a moment to sort it all out, and we'll be back with your official results. Well, folks, after a lengthy discussion on the side of the field with the referees and then with the, uh, with the lead scorekeeper, your head referee has made a decision. He's going to be making his way out on the field, and he's already starting to reach into his back pocket. This could be a big deal. 
will give the referee a chance to maneuver into position. Now again, during that last match, we saw two of the Blue Alliance robots that were upended, that were literally over on their side. The contact that causes that is typically a yellow card, but that yellow card was on the same team, so they actually had two infractions. Two infractions were the same team upended two Blue Alliance robots. Two yellow cards make a red card. And your head referee has reached into his pocket. He's got a red card in his possession. He's going to be stepping out on the field in just a moment. Remember, that was two yellow cards for upending an opposing alliance robot and essentially disabling it during, during competition. So with that in mind, it'll be a red card. We're just waiting now to see who that red card will be applied to. Putting the score up for you, the result will be a Red Alliance win. 141 to 112 will be your final score. Again, that red card will disqualify, will disqualify one of the Red Alliance team members. The other team members will be picking up those additional ranking points. Twenty-three thirty-eight. by the way, was the team from the Red Alliance that received the red card. That was gear it forward. Again, 23-38, upending two of the Blue Alliance robots. Coming up next, qualifying match number 65.